good day, friends. It is me, HL Mod Tech, and I've got a new idea for a Tinkercad project. My friends, let's get cracking. All right, so let's start by renaming this project, putting the word spring and then our initials, and I'm going to make it a bug. It is the first day of spring, so I'd like you to go down to Featured and find the amazing spring. When you bring that spring out, we are going to use it for legs on a sweet little bug. So start by rotating it 90 degrees. So this little point's near the front of what we're going to call the foot. We're going to leave all these little settings the same. If you want to play with them later, you may. But for this first bug, let's just stay normal. Then return to basic shapes. Scooch down and find the half sphere. Make it longer, maybe a little skinnier, so it can be a shoe on your sweet bug course you can change your colors I'm gonna give my little bug a blue shoe I think I'm gonna raise that up again just to find the number that I think looks shoe like and then I'm gonna play with another one of my favorite tools the scribble and I'm gonna simply make a little bow and then I'm gonna make some shoelace marks coming down not worrying about perfection just worrying about having fun and then when I hit done now I'm going to line these up. I'm going to start by hiding the spring because I'm going to leave it where it goes. And I'm going to grab both the shoe and the laces and I'm going to click a line. I want to move the laces to the shoe. So if I click on the shoe, boom, there it goes. You'll notice that my laces are a little larger than the shoe. You can say that's fine or you can do like me. I'm going to do shift squeeze to make them a little closer to perfect. And then I'm just going to do that align again. Now I'm going to raise this up. I'm going to use control up. I'm going to look at it from a corner and I want to tilt those a few degrees so they look how I want. And then I'm going to pull them to the front of the shoe as well with the arrow keys. When I hit the light bulb, you can see the awesome little spring comes back and I have made a shoe, shoelace, and leg. I would like my legs to be a bright color. I'm going to go for yellow. All right, so let's take this group of three and do duplicate and move it to the other side. You can pick whatever distance you want. And then we're going to take just the spring and rotate it 22 and a half degrees. So that'll be a nicer way to connect. On this side, we're going to click on flip and we're going to flip the spring so that way the end points in like the other side does. And then we'll rotate it 22 and a half degrees as well. Notice if you stay close to the shape, it's real easy to snap to those 22 and a half degree marks. I'm going to group all of shoe one and leg one. And I'm going to group all of shoe two and leg two. And then don't forget we can click on them and turn on multicolor so we get all of our amazing colors back. And then don't forget to turn on multicolor for the second one as well. If you ever want to change your colors, you can double click, click on the piece you want to change and pick a new color and it'll update. I would kind of like my laces to be white. So I'm going to fix that quick before I do the back legs. So it saves me a step. Now I'm going to tape those two legs and I'm going to duplicate them. I'm going to use control D and I'm going to just use the arrow keys to nudge them back to where I want my legs to be. Now, if you're paying attention at all, remember I said it's the first day of spring and that is why we're using the spring. It'll come back again, but right now we're going to use the sphere to create the body. When you bring the sphere out, it is size 20. I would like you to hold shift, stretch it a little, change one of the numbers to 30, and they will all stretch to that size. To line this up correctly, we need to group our feet. So I'm going to make them one large piece. They may switch back to one color. If so, we just do our multicolor. And now that they're grouped, we can grab our entire project, click center, and we want the body to center on the feet. Notice how slick that is for lining it up. We can do control up arrow to raise it up as high as we want. And then do control D. This is one of my favorite tricks. And use the arrow key to just nudge it back. Get it so there's a body segment and then don't touch anything else. Just hit control D again and again and again and it memorizes those steps all the way back along the bug. Our bug all of a sudden has a sweet body and we're able to take and turn this into a head. To make the head stay right where it is but get bigger, hold down the alt and shift keys and grow them a little. 
notice it grows around its middle and then we can use the cone or control up arrow to raise it up so it's a little higher for the head creation. Let's hide the feet real quick with the hide button. Let's move around and give them a tail. We're going to get the tail in place and we're going to make it with a cone. Just drag it in, select everything, click a line, tell it you care about the bug's body because we want those feet to stay lined up, and hit center. Now this tail is lined up exactly the way we want. You can use the cone or control up to raise it up to the right height. Rotate it to the degrees you want. I'm going to simply just do 45. And then to push it correctly into the shape, we don't want to push down. We want to push along this axis. Watch this trick. I'm looking at that flat face. I'm hitting work plane. And when I click right on the flat bottom of that cone, it lets me push it into the bug. Once it's inside the bug, now we can grab the length and stretch it out to whatever size we want our bug's tail to be. If you click the work plane back to the ground, it lets you see how it turned out. If you want it to stay in that spot but make it skinnier, you can hold down Alt and Shift and it'll make it skinnier. And then you can go back to that length and stretch it out to whatever size you want. If you want to change the rotation, that all still works as well. Just remember, you might run into a part where it's poking out of the cone. This time, we can actually do control down to slide it in to where we want. You can always undo if you ever get out of control. You can also hide this part so you can see that work plane and reset it if you need it as well. I'm going to do show all to bring back my tail and my legs. And let's move back to the front of our sweet little bug and let's give them eyeballs. We're going to do eyeballs with the sphere. Bring it in real quick and let's use fit view to zoom in on it. Hold down shift and squeeze it down a little. Type in the number 10 and that'll be the size of the white part of our eyeball. We're going to just use duplicate. Use the arrow keys to pull the new one forward. Hold down alt and shift. Shrink it a little and type the number 7 and press enter and make that the black part of the eyeball. Now because we did alt shift it is already centered so we can just nudge it back with the arrow keys to the exact size you want. You could also go googly eyes and make them right or left. When you're happy with that eyeball though, and I'm going to go googly eye mode on mine, I'm also going to make it one higher just because it's kind of silly. Group that eyeball and of course it'll turn all one color and then we are going to turn on multicolor. This is where it gets really fantastic, friends. We want to line this up with this. So hold down shift and click on the head. When you click a line, click the head, because that's where we care about. And let's put it right in the center. Let's put it right at the top. Now, when we do control down arrow, it moves down into the head where we want it. And then when we go to the right, it moves over to a decent spot. You can pull it forward, back, left, right, whatever you want. And then simply do duplicate again and move it to the left side of the face with the arrow keys. If you want both eyeballs looking this way, you can leave it that way. If you want them shooting kitty wampus, you can hit that little button and arrange them as well. Simple, slick, fun. If you want to zoom in and adjust them any other way, if you do fit view, you can then get a good look at them and rotate them to make them any custom way you want. Super powerful and super fun. We need to give our little bug a mouth. I'm going to do that with the scribble tool. I'm going to give him sharp teeth or as sharp as I can make with the scribble tool. You can fill them in with the brush or you can use the fill tool. Notice this, you go all the way around the shape and it locks it in. And then when we hit done, I'm going to change the thickness. I'm going to go size 5. Zoom out so I can see it. I think I want those to be white. Make sure you're looking at it from a corner so you can find that rotation handle. And I'm going to make them 90 degrees so they're up and down. Once again, I'm going to do a line. I'm going to hold down shift and click on the head. 
When I choose a line, I'm going to click on the head. This time I want them all the way out to the front. I did that first so you can see they lined up. Then I'm going to do in the middle, and I'm going to do in the middle. Now I can do control down arrow to move those in. I can use the black handles to just adjust them to however I want. I'm going to pull them out one more, and I think I like that even though it looks a little bit more like a mustache than it does teeth. I'm going to do control D to do bottom teeth. I'm going to do control down arrow to move them down. And then once again, our friend the flip tool lets me flip them. So now his little mouth or his little jaws are actually working the way they should. I'm going to use that black handle to make sure they are pushed into the head. That way I'm sure they're connected. And then also if I squish these just a little bit, they line up a little better. Remember it is spring, so I'm going to go back to my spring on the featured. We're going to bring out that spring again, and this time we're actually going to change the numbers so it looks more like antenna. I'm going to change radius 2 to 5, and watch how that makes it skinnier. And I'm going to do radius 1 to 1, and press enter. Notice that makes the entire tube thinner. I am going to do three rotations, and I'm going to make the offset 0.75. You can play with these however you want, but this is going to be what I do for my feeler or my antenna. Then I'm going to go back to basic shapes and I'm going to put a sphere on top. Once again, that cool shift trick so you can shift drag. And then I'm going to type 7 for the size of that little ball on top. I'm going to grab just the two of them. I'm going to align them and I want to go to the center of this shape. So I'm going to go pop and I really do want it on this edge. And then I'm going to raise it up using control up arrow. And then I'm going to just nudge it close with the arrow keys. Let's zoom in and look at that from every angle to see how well I did. I'm pretty happy with that. I think I'm going to move it back just one more to make sure that it's really attached. And I think I'm going to move it down as well with control down. All right, I like that little feeler. I am going to group it. I'm going to pick a different color. I think I'm going to go with bright pink. And then I'm going to do the same shift click. And I'm going to align it with the head. I'm going to go right edge. I'm going to go top edge. It's not high enough, but that's fine. I can do control up to raise it up to where I want it. I'm going to look at it from that front. And I'm going to rotate it. I'm going to choose, I like the 22 and a half because it snaps. This time though, I think I'm going to do 15 just because I think the angle's better. Nudge it to the exact spot I want. Do my control D. Use that sweet flip tool. And then simply use the arrow keys to nudge it to the other side so it looks about the same. Perfection would be cool, but it is not mandatory. Friends, our bug is looking fun and funny. I'm going to go into the characters quick and see some other things we can add. You could put glasses, hands, whatever you want, the cool little hat, give them a mustache, a beret. You could go down into the all shapes and find amazing things like on page five. There is a cool set of wings you can add. Uh, anything you want to make this more awesome. Scribble anything as you create your epic little spring bug. Friends, there is so much room to customize this. You can see I added a nose, I changed mine to a smile, and I did all the colors. Tons of things you can do to make your bug unbelievably incredible. Don't forget, you can also grab your entire bug, quickly do Control D, set it aside, hold down Shift and squish it, and you could have a whole bug family. Change all the colors, have a blast, see what kind of epic thing you can come up with as you build your sweet little bugs. If you do make something awesome, if you take time to share a screenshot of your creation on Twitter, Facebook, or Instagram, that'd be awesome. I am at HL Mod Tech on all of those. Friends, if you enjoyed the video, please give it a like. If you got a question, comment, or a suggestion, add it down below. If you haven't subscribed yet, what are you waiting for? Smash that subscribe button. And last but not least, hit that notification bell if you want to be the first to know when there's a brand new video from me, HL Mod Tech. Thanks for watching. Have a great day.